What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitchy Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Join Ninja Nation. My interview with Greg Maddox is dropping soon, and you're not going to want to miss it. So hit subscribe, and without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Braxton Garrett, who had 1K in six innings, giving up one run on three hits. He got his K on this filthy curveball. Not a lot of strikeouts, but a really good outing from Braxton Garrett. He outdueled Yohan Odone, who had three Ks in five innings, but gave up five runs and had this fastball and slider. Jacob Junis was really good with three strikeouts and four no-hit innings. He had this paint-ish sinker, as well as these filthy sliders, including this painted one. And he outdueled Pedro Avila, who had a solid five Ks in three innings, really good, but gave up six runs, not so good, but only one of those runs were earned. Okay. Matt Manning had a really good outing yesterday with four strikeouts and six innings, giving up two hits and no runs. And despite not having overpowering velo, I thought his fastball looked really solid. Manning faced Clark Schmidt, who had seven Ks in four and two-thirds innings, giving up three runs. And Schmidt had these filthy knuckle curves and sweepers. In the marquee matchup of the day, the Dodgers faced the Braves. It was Lance Lynn versus Spencer Strider. The highlight of Lance Lynn's outing was this fastball that he blew by Matt Olson and then yells something towards the plate, probably f*** you, knowing Lance Lynn, and then storms off the field cussing to himself. Of course, the next inning, the Braves pretty much said f*** you to Lance Lynn, and he ended up with only one strikeout in four and a third innings, giving up seven runs. My filthiest starting pitcher of the day, not necessarily the one with the best results, but filthiest, was Spencer Strider. Strider went six innings with nine Ks. Nice. He gave up four runs, but was really dominant early in the game. The three runs came on a three-run homer by Mookie Betts in the fifth. That was just out of the reach of Acuna's glove. As for Strider's pitching, he had these 100-mile-an-hour fastballs, including this painted fastball, as well as this hundo followed by his patented k -Ruette. He also had this nasty changeup and these wicked sliders. He had this sword against Betts on this slider. And I swear, watching it at home, I was like, ha, sword. But Mookie got the last laugh later in that at bat. Just a great job of hitting. Although honestly, looking at Mookie's face, it looks like he had no idea that that ball was going to go out. I did a few overlays that show why Strider's fastball and slider are such a brutal combination for hitters. Here's one where he paints both his fastball and slider. And then here's a longer overlay of his fastball and slider, and look how identical his mechanics are. As a hitter, there's absolutely nothing to pick up on. And then he tunnels these so well that you're basically totally screwed as a hitter. That is, unless you guess right. Now you'd think that Strider's high velo, wicked sliders, repeating his mechanics and tunneling were the keys to his dominance. But I watched this game very closely and spotted something unusual. It's Strider using black magic on these baseballs. Yep, he's totally casting magic spells. And technically, I think this is legal under baseball's rules. Because there's absolutely nothing addressing the supernatural. So while some may say the Braves are cheating, I think it's totally legit. Now one of my filthiest relievers, Sean Manaya had this filthy changeup. Albert Abreu had this 99 mile an hour heater and this nasty slider. Clay Holmes had this sick sweeper and slider. Alex Vessia had this nasty slider. Tyler Holton had this cutter and changeup. And look how filthy that changeup is. Holton is extremely underrated. Rysel Iglesias ended the game with this fastball and slider combo, and I did an overlay of it. And you can see just why you might swing and miss at that slider. You think you're getting a painted fastball, and if you get that slider, you're going to whiff. And my filthiest reliever yesterday was Matt Waldron, because I freaking love knuckleballs. Here's a knuckleball with only 272 RPMs. Look at that butterfly. And then this knuckleball only had 112 RPMs, which is the fewest rotations on a called strike on a pitch 70 miles an hour or higher in the entire StatCast era. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. Kudos to Jeff Francoeur for this Ricky Bobby reference, talking about Alex Vessia's jumpiness. He's twitching. It's all jacked up on Mountain Dew. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. What is up, everybody? My picks of the day today are a three-leg parlay. 
I'm gonna start out with Mitch Keller for 6Ks or more, then take a Yuri Perez for 6Ks or more, and top it off with Kodai Senga for 7Ks or more. What would your picks of the day be?